So one of the things we've been getting a lot of questions about is the timeline. We'll keep adding to this timeline as we get more details and um, publicly come out with more details, but I'll kind of give everyone the timeline to now because it seems like there's a lot of confusion. So we'll kind of rewind back and we'll go all the way to November 9th um, of 2016. Now, these dates that I'm about to say are kind of approximate dates uh, and what we believe it's happened, but all this stuff happens within a day or two of the days I'm saying. So we believe it's around November 9th of 2016 that DCFS goes to Lisa's house and condemns the house. So basically is what that means is DCFS comes to the house and they realize uh, the condition of the home. And so they condemn the home and they tell Lisa she has to have the home cleaned in order to keep Bonsai. But what we just recently found out is on that day, they actually took two dogs out of the home because the dogs were in, kept in two kennels in the back and they were in such bad shape, basically living in their own filth in those kennels. So DCFS took the dogs out of the situation, but they left Bonsai in the situation. DCFS agreed to let Bonsai and Lisa go and live with a neighbor. We did interview the neighbor in an earlier episode. His name is James and James, um, and his girlfriend, very welcoming, took them in, even though they barely knew Lisa and Bonsai. So DCFS allowed Lisa and Bonsai to go live in a house that they barely knew the people at. And James and his girlfriend were being nice neighbors. So Bonsai and Lisa end up staying with James and his girlfriend for three to four nights. We're not sure on the exact amount of time, but it was between three and four nights. At that point, Lisa had got the house clean enough um, and I also did just get confirmation that the pictures we saw that we've shown on earlier episodes are pictures of the job that had been done once that house had been cleaned. DCFS allowed them to move back in uh, at that period, um, considering the house to be clean enough for them to go back in. So then we fast forward a little bit to dates that are correct, um, that we actually know the exact dates on to November 16th of 2016. Bonsai sleeps at the Butts house that night. I'm not really sure where Lisa is the night of the 16th. There's been some confusion conflicting um, details on that. Lisa said that she was at Patty's house, but Patty uh, very vehemently states that Lisa was not at her house. So I'm not sure where Lisa was the night of the 16th, although I'm not sure it matters so much at this point. So on November 17th, Bonsai left the Butts house in the morning to get on the bus to go to school. He was carrying a beverage with him and the bus driver would not allow him on the bus with the beverage. So Bonsai just decided to go home instead. At some point while Bonsai was at home, the truancy officer swung by to uh, inquire about why he was not in school and Bonsai fled. After Bonsai fled from the truancy officer, at some point later that day, he ran into a friend of his. It was an older friend, um, a teenager, and this teenager called Lisa to let Lisa know that Bonsai was with him. At this point, Lisa asked this friend to return Bonsai to the Butts house. So the friend did. The friend took Bonsai and dropped him back off at the Butts house. So the Butts only live a couple blocks from Bonsai's house. So when Lisa gets home that day, Bonsai comes back to the house where Lisa is. At this point, Bonsai asks his mom if he can stay at the Butts house again. And Lisa says that's fine. And she makes her own plans for the evening, which is to go over to Patty Adams' house, who we interviewed on one of the first episodes. Lisa arrives to Patty's house a little bit after dinner. And that's at the same point that Bonsai arrives at the Butts' house. So Lisa's plans that night involve hanging out with a couple of friends at Patty Adams' house. And she chooses to spend the night at the house. According to Lisa, her and Bonsai have a call at around 11 p.m. where he obviously confirms that he is at the Butts' house. So now we go to the morning of the 18th. Uh, Bonsai leaves the Butts' house with their son, Chris, who Bonsai is friends with, and they head to the bus stop. Chris gets on his bus, and then Bonsai continues on to his bus according to the Butts family. So according to Lisa, Bonsai made it back to the house that day. Uh, she knew this because there was clothing that he had taken with him the night before. Um, there was food that he had been eating that was still left out and there was mail scattered all over the floor. The truancy officer came back to the house on the 18th to give Lisa a ticket. When the truancy officer got to the house, the door of the house was locked. The reason the door being locked is significant is because there was only one way in and out of that house and it was through the front door. The front door also only locked from the inside. So somebody had to have been in the house in order for the door to be locked. All the windows had been nailed down because uh, Lisa had claimed that there had been a stalker who had been an ex-boyfriend. So they nailed the windows down and then the back door was actually bolted to the floor 
not just like bolted with a lock, but bolted with power tools. Like you would have had to use power tools to get the bolt out of the floor. So there really is no way to get in and out of that house unless you go through the front door. So when the truancy officer got there, the front door was locked. The truancy officer calls Lisa at that time and Lisa explains to him that he had spent the night at the Butts house. At this point, Lisa is still at Patty Adams' house, according to Lisa and to Patty. The truancy officer goes over to the Butts house and is unable to find Bonsai. Lisa, at this point, is trying to leave Patty's house, but because she's searching for her keys, according to her, it takes her a bit of time before she can leave. So Lisa does not leave Patty Adams' house until about between 2.15 and about 3.15 on the 18th, and this is confirmed by Lisa and Patty. At this point, Lisa goes back to her house and she meets up with the truancy officer and that's when they discover that Bonsai is officially missing. So after Bonsai is officially considered missing, uh, the community gets together and starts their own search parties. The five days after Bonsai went missing during our series, we've uncovered three eyewitnesses that claim that they saw him walking along VFW Road or along the railroad tracks all within South Peak in there. The bow hunter on the 23rd actually called in his tip and he felt that the cops didn't take it seriously and they didn't come out to investigate. The cops did finally come out and investigate the bow hunter's claim about a month and a half later on January 5th. So come spring of 2017, uh, Facebook groups began to reach out to Trucks for Kids to try to get help in their efforts to search for Bonsai. So sometime during the week of July 17th, Trucks for Kids gets a tip that a tote was thrown over the 474 bridge that potentially had evidence in it that was relevant to this case. The weekend of July 22nd, 2017 is when Trucks for Kids started their search under the 474 bridge for this tote and some of the other items that might have been in the tote. During the search under the bridge, they do find items that are very compelling and do appear to be from the Bonsai case. We're still looking into the validity of that. On July 24th, a man is mowing a property and he comes across Bonsai's skull. The Pekin police then get involved and they come out and they also discover additional portions of the skeleton on the other side of the fence. They needed to verify that they were Bonsai's, so they got DNA from the family to confirm that it was actually Bonsai. So a few months later, those results came back as definitive. I know that was kind of a rough timeline, but I think it might help at least people understand the year from the time Bonsai went missing until they were able to find his bones and then clarified that they were his. So hopefully this helps.